Hi guys, Karen Proctor here with Wednesday's Walk and Talk. I know you guys probably haven't seen a walk video from me in a while. I have been walking, but not necessarily going live because uh, I've just been taking time to walk and just to pray in silence to God. Not in silence to God, but without the camera, just praying. Uh, just taking dominion over the atmosphere, over my neighborhood, over the community. But today I want to, uh, just to share a little bit. Um, yesterday, I woke up with Psalms 90 in my spirit. And more so, verse 12, where it says, teach us to number our days and to apply and to apply our heart unto wisdom and so that psalms just uh just ring out to me uh so loud yesterday till i you know just begin to take inventory over my life and you know just asking god to make me mold me control me uh to take everything out of me that's not like him to make me a vessel of honor that I not miss the uh, mark with him. And just really, you know, trying to be cognizant of where I am on my journey in life. And so every now and again, we have to take that kind of inventory to ask God to, to give us wisdom that we may apply our heart unto to wisdom. Uh, most people attribute that Psalms to Moses teach us to number our days uh, in Psalms 90. And so today I got some news about a beloved loved one passed away today. And it took me back to Psalms 90. You know, teach us to number our days because the Bible also say a man that's born of a woman uh, is full of sorrow and length of days, if I can put it that way. And, you know, all I can say, even as I'm out here on this, this journey, you guys that have been following my walking videos know that I'm out here to try to... Um, strengthen myself physically to get in better shape and at the same time I'm sharing and when I look over my life uh, yesterday I took notice that it was April 6th as you guys know we are in 2021 and it seemed like 2021 came in just yesterday but we are already in April imagine that so that passage just speak, speak volume to me in so many ways. We're already uh, here in April. And I also noticed that, like I said, yesterday was April 6th. So it made me realize just a month from yesterday that it will be my birthday. And if the Lord's will and life lasts, I will be turning a whole nother year. <laughs> I thank God for life, health, and strength. I thank God for the journey that he had me on. But also I begin to look and say, where did the time go? You know, life is but a fleeting vapor. It seems like just a couple of years ago, <laughs> seemed like I was in my 20s, you know? And now I'm in midlife so yeah we have to you know just really enjoy the time that god has given us on this earth do our very best uh repent while we need to repent forgive while we need to forgive love hard love strong um and just enjoy the moment enjoy what god has given you just try to be the best that you can be. You know, your only your best is going to be in God and with God. You know, just try to be thankful. 
and just live life to the fullest. I never expected today, earlier today, that I would have gotten a call to say that my loved one, one of my loved ones passed away. Uh, no surprise to the Lord, but a big, big surprise to me. And again, that made me go back to Psalms 90 and 12. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto, uh, unto wisdom so that, you know, we will just be ready when the Lord uh, calls us and do why you can do what you could while you can because after that nobody knows and so as i was um coming from my family house to come back home you know just going to be there for my family um as i was driving back home i just began to think of some of the memories that i personally had with that loved one you know everything just started rolling before me rolling before me from being a little girl up until this present time conversations that we shared together a lot of laughing moments together uh and all of that good stuff and so as i got in front of my house i parked i i didn't even go into the driveway i just parked on the outside of the yard because I wasn't sure that I was ready to go inside, you know, but I I just stopped and just prayed for a second. You know, we know a lot about the Lord by reading his word. And then there are some things that we just don't know until we meet him one day face to face. So I just began to pray. I say, Lord, you know, if it be possible, I don't know, the breath is already gone out of the body, you know. I say, but God, I don't know. I say, God, if it be possible, I say, only you and you know where our souls go. You know, we try to live the best we can, acknowledge Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior while we are woke. But I say, Lord, if this can be such a prayer. I say, Lord, I, I just need you to receive my loved one into your arms, into your bosom. Let it be a resounding yes, well done, well done. You know, because folks, can I tell you, a lot of people don't think that heaven and hell is real. You will hear people say sometimes, oh, this is heaven here. This is hell here. It can be no worse than this. It cannot be no worse than this. But I say, God, if it be possible, Lord God, I just want you to just receive my loved one with a big old, great big old, yes, 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 yes. Come up higher, be with me. I say, Lord, I pray that prayer in the name of Jesus, and that's it. So I went and got me something to eat, pulled off, went and got something to eat, came back home, sat down, to eat, have my lunch. And my clock went off. This is a little, little uh, traveling clock. I normally take it with me when I travel, put in a hotel room with me. You know, sometimes we look at our phone for the time these days. Uh, I have watches, but I don't wear them. Um, so I normally take this clock with me so I'm not late to any of my engagements when I'm uh, out of town. So that little clock would be right there. But I heard something like a big, 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 big um, sound like an alarm. Now, I don't have an alarm in my house. Sad to say, I don't have security alarm. Um, well, I won't say sad to say because I have security, but not alarm. It goes by camera. I don't have a fire alarm. So I was wondering where this loud echoing uh, sound come from. 
I jump up, look out the window, look all around my family room, look at my phone. I'm like, where is this sound coming from? So I pulled the cords out of the uh, electrical outlet because I could not, I had my laptop up, but the sound wasn't coming from the laptop. So as I got closer to the table where I, the, the clock just sit there. I never put an alarm as long as I had this clock. I never, ever put an alarm on that clock. That clock was oh, 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 making all kind of loud, loud noise. So I finally figured out the alarm was coming from the clock. So I shut it down. When I look at the clock, it was 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Somebody may be saying, where are you going with this, Apostle Proctor? Where are you going with this? But you know, God speaks to people in so many different kinds of ways. You just got to know how God speaks. And if it's him that is speaking, if it is a coincidence, or if it is God. But me, being the person that I am, I took notice of the time, and it was 2 o'clock. Now we got the notice way earlier in the day. Um, body already gone. But I said, why is this clock uh, made that big old alarming noise and would not go out? And I'm looking, and like I said, 2 o'clock. And then the first thing that came to my mind is 2 is the number of agreement. Two is the number of witness. So I took that as a prophetic sign to the prayer that I prayed. Lord, have mercy. Lord, receive this soul into your kingdom. I took it as if God say, I am in agreement with your request. I am in agreement with your request. Two is the number of agreement. Two is the number of witness. I don't know what you think, but that's what I think. It all coincides. Go back to Psalms 90 and verse 12. Teach us to number our days and to apply our hearts unto wisdom. Yeah. So that's about it. Maybe it's not making sense to you. If it's not making sense to you, you know, you still leave your comments still leave your questions again um you have come to the page of apostle karen proctor please like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button uh go to my website www.karenproctor.com to connect to leave a prayer request uh if you want to be a part of the school of the prophets you want to know more information about that or our school of ministry in general let me know if you're looking for an empowerment life coach somebody to hold your hand and to keep you accountable and to nudge you into your bright future i am an empowerment life coach as well so please do go to my website www.karenproctor.com let me know if you think that alarm went off by coincident at two o'clock um, I never, ever set that alarm before. Let me reiterate that. So, I don't know. Bye for now. God bless you. Until the next time.